Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to calculate buckling load factors in Stack Pro Connect Edition. So, there is a small uh, vertical element created in the stack. The properties assigned is uh, steel structures MC175 as property and a load of 5 kN is applied in the uh, top here. 5 kN load applied here. Right, so this having a length of 5 meter. So I just subdivided the structure into 6 parts. So how to calculate this buckling load factor? Before that, what is buckling? Buckling means buckling is a kind of instability in the structure. Means uh, when you apply certain loads before achieving the material strength, the structure will collapse. So that is generally called buckling of the structure. So if you keep on increasing the load here, 5 kN when you are increasing to say 10 kN, 15 kN. So at a particular load, the structure will fail. So there are there is two methods to calculate the buckling load in uh, Stat Pro Connect Edition. So you have to go to Analysis and Design tab. So in the Analysis commands, uh, here uh, the buckling uh, the perform uh, buckling analysis is mentioned here. So you can see you can uh, see here there are two methods. The first one is iterative method and the second one is eigen method so in the iterative method you have to provide a certain number of iterations so it's a kind of iterative method so what program will do the program will uh, increase the load to that extent uh, where at which the structure will buckle so that is an iterative method so in case you are indicating a number of iteration here 25 and say add now so you are given 25 iterations here okay and then you run the analysis and then see the output file so in the output file in the result section you can see the iterations done and if it is converged it will show uh, the value here converged so you can see here 4.89 is the uh, buckling load factor which you are getting using the iterate, iterative method so now we will see the other method also the eigen method so in the eigen method just select the second option eigen method and uh, do modify then uh, perform buckling eigen this is the command here so run the analysis again so you can go to post processing mode so in eigen method you'll get uh, the buckling shapes also that means uh, the program automatically calculate four modes of buckling and the factors buckling factors for the first four modes it will calculate and the first mode you can you remember the value uh, you are getting using iterative method was also 4.895 so this is the first mode second so second mode it is 43 third mode you can see the deflected shape or buckling shape for each mode so when, when you are selecting eigen method this is one advantage you can visualize how the structure is getting failed uh, that will be helpful when you are uh, giving some kind of lateral support say for example the second mode structure deflect like this so maybe you can give a lateral support at this point so that uh, the stability of the structure can be increased so this is what uh, the eigen method gives and in fact what will happen if once you increase the value to say nearby uh, the buckling load so you can see maybe this is uh, 4.895 uh, let's increase the uh, load by say five times so five times uh, five kilonewton 25 kilonewton load will apply and see what will happen i am i'm putting a uh, changing the value to minus 25 kilonewton
and let's see what's the buckling factors here now you can see uh, the buckling factor is 0.979 that means the structure is buckled if this value goes uh, below 0 below 1 that means the structure is buckled already so this is what one interpretation if whenever you are doing a buckling when you are whenever you are finding out a buckling load factor for a structure and the value is less than 1 that means the structure is buckled and maybe you can say anything uh, below 5 your structure is uh, very critical and you need to do the second order analysis and ensure that the structure will not uh, fail in instability and there is some uh, post processing comments which uh, by which you, you can print the uh, the buckling shapes uh, in the analysis tab there is post analysis comments that uh, come here and define comments see the buckling shape so this commands uh, has no additional parameters you just add to the uh, input and print buckling shapes so you can uh, print all the buckling shapes in the output file also so once you run the analysis in the output file uh, I, uh, I solution after eigen solution you will get uh, the buckling shapes also initially you will get the buckling factor and then afterwards the buckling shape also get printed in the output file there are few things which uh, you need to uh, remember when you are doing buckling analysis uh, the first one is uh, the buckling analysis will be performed only for primary load cases and repeat load cases uh, since uh, the buckling analysis is a non-linear analysis uh, you have to give the uh, repeat load cases instead of load combinations you have to provide repeat load cases uh, then only uh, the buckling analysis can be performed and if your number of load cases is more then you have to give provide a command called set nl there is some miscellaneous commands wherein uh, you have to provide this command set nl so your primary load cases or uh, repeat load cases number may be 200 or 300 then you have to provide that number then you have to run the analysis again and uh, buckling analysis will not be performed for uh, the response spectrum method and the time history methods there you, such type of non-linear uh, cases the buckling uh, buckling load factors uh, this buckling analysis cannot be performed so it can be performed only for static load cases that is another thing which you need to remember Thank you.